Welcome to Raudos Underground Trio, I am Jerry and this time once again we go through three different underground releases from the metal underground indeed. Uh, of course, as the thing is, always from worst to best according to my own opinion, feel free to disagree. And these are all different style. One is very experimental in sense of rock, industrial, what have you. And then we have some old school death metal with a little bit doom metal things going on and then some rather traditional black metal. So first we go to Portugal with this new band called Lovado Abismo. As you can see this is a little bit you know moisture gathering uh, CD promo release which wouldn't even play properly due to some stains on the CD. Don't know really what happened to this particular one and this came only with this promo sleeve so there's not really much to show we can pretty much just skip to telling what this is all about coming from portugal this is labeled on the band's bandcamp site by many different labels there are also some name dropping so this is like going back to the 70s uh with some noisier rock kind of things or lots of industrial elements even um going to experimental side of things flirting with lots of various elements and of course a little bit metal into the mix. Now, because my knowledge and experience is rather limited in terms of rock metal versus metal and all, I really don't know how do you're supposed to kind of box it in, what kind of a genre you're supposed to go with that, because this is actually kind of like jumping from one stone to another and trying to keep it all together. So I guess I would say, and this is a little bit simplified statement, call it just noise rock. There are lots of 70s vibes going on, so kind of like very, very retro. And I would say some of these are from the 80s and of course some modern elements. So it's almost like running in weird circles and making it all sound like somewhat consistent. Not bad by all means, but a little bit of mixed bag of goodies and a little bit like weird goodies. It's not like your average candy bag. You know, you go for a store and okay, some sour ones, some sweet, juicy ones and whatever. This is more like have some weird salted licorice mixed with, I don't know, some candies looking like dog poop. Um, not for everybody, given that, but if you're brave and want to go beyond typical borders, go for this one. Then if you go to United States of America with Zampatil, which is American-Mexican kind of a thing. Mind you, this is pretty weird. Nine guys. Metal Archives actually lists like ten guys in the lineup. And I'm thinking how on earth they're going to tour anywhere because the expenses are out of the roof, uh, through the roof when it comes to, uh, you know, just bringing the band to the venue and all, you know, having hotel rooms and... Uh, and plane tickets and all that stuff, because nine people equals roughly two bands when it comes to that. But these guys have some interesting take on their death metal. I mean, it sounds like old school death metal, very heavy, kind of dark, simplistic riffs, growly vocals, you know the drill. Metal Archives actually lists this as doom death metal, which I don't think is incorrect, but can be a little bit misleading, because it depends what kind of stuff you're expecting when you're talking about doom death. If you're expecting some kind of like the Winter Debut, the classic album uh, from decades ago, you might be closer to this. Now, if you're expecting some kind of old, say, My Dying Bride kind of stuff, the early on, or Paradise Lost, stuff like that, you might be a little bit disappointed. Because surely this is slow tempo and mid-tempo at best, basically. And it's dark, it's heavy and all crushing and all, like taking back to the early 90s. Um, I would still say this is more death metal than doom death. Maybe 70-30% share if you want to go splitting hairs. Doesn't matter which way you go, it's just expect kind of a crushing death metal riffs. Very simplistic, not too much variety, not catchy part or all that stuff, and you're good to go. Uh, interesting thing is, this is all about like uh, Mexican tradition, mythology and all, so it's a little bit different. I would say, in a way, this is like the slow tempo death metal or the doom death version of Nile. Not technical, but where Nile goes to Egyptian mythology and folklore and whatever history. This is like the Mexican and uh, indigenous people of that part of America kind of a thing. Rather kind of nice, but also a little bit too less variation in the end. So kind of like mid plus, if you will. But 
interesting choice nonetheless. Then the best of the pile comes from Belgium. This is called Born, second album, if I'm not mistaken. And what seems like it started as a solo project, correct if I'm wrong, is now at least two people band with some uh, session members and whatnot. Very gold, black, blue kind of a design that kind of a, uh, emphasizes the gold feeling here. Somewhat melodic, somewhat catchy, uh, fast tempo and all that stuff. Very, very traditional 1990s sounding or vibe-ish uh, band which is not exactly recreating the wheel, reinventing anything, but going like back to classics when things were like kind of a rather basic in terms of black metal. Now, while there is nothing really outstanding and nothing uh, very, very original with Coldborn here, I would say this is actually on the better side of things. Why? Because it's not putting weird ideas here and there. It's not like doing post black. It's not overly atmospheric, but more like sticking to the guns you know. That is, if you have ever been into the world of, say, melodic or traditional black metal, being more on the 90s side of things or 2000 stuff, which is based on the 90s stuff, then you know what to expect. Uh, I was positively surprised because probably I was expecting a little bit less interesting album, maybe a little bit more mid kind of a thing and this is actually a good album so check it out my personal favorite of this given pile now as always links are included in the description box so if i got your interest with certain bands or maybe all of them you will find them easily right there uh, probably a lot of these bands have their music on streaming services and if not at least bandcamp and other sources are available available for you to listen to them but Go check it out through your favorite streaming service in case you're out. And if you're looking for the whole treatment with lyrics and whatsoever, go for the physical product. Now, looking forward, your comments. What did you think about these albums or bands? Are you familiar with them and all? Let me know. Thanks and see you soon with more Rauta videos coming your way. Bye.